Hi, Max Painley, Robot Test Engineer at ATI's North Carolina Testing Facility. I work with customer parts daily to determine the best tool, media, and programming parameters for customer projects. Today, I want to showcase an easy solution to a common welding byproduct, discoloration. This change in surface color is caused by the metal reacting strongly with the oxygen in the air. Our ACT390, paired with a ceramic or wire brush, can be used to clean the affected area and remove the discoloration. The ACT390 is a 5600 RPM air motor with half an inch of compliance travel. The compliance helps overcome variations in part size and fixturing, keeping the cup brush in contact with the workpiece and applying the appropriate force. In brushing applications, the end of the filaments are what perform the sanding and finishing work. Ineffective material removal occurs when too much force is put on the filaments. This causes the filaments to bend, resulting in their sides contacting the workpiece rather than their ends. Excessive bending of the filaments is not only ineffective, but also reduces the life of the brush and could result in damaged or broken filaments and wires. For this application, we've chosen Reliobotics brand ceramic brushes because they have long life. The ACT390 keeps a constant contact force applied to the workpiece and the brush turning at the proper speed. Let's take a look at this setup in action. We have our ACT390 on our FANUC M20. This is a 20 kilogram payload robot, which is enough to handle the payload of the tool as well as the application forces generated by the light brushes. In this setup, we are bringing the process to the fixtured part. As you can see, with three passes, the 15 millimeter diameter 600 grit brush is able to remove the discoloration. A more aggressive grit would require fewer passes or less overlap per pass, but that would result in more material removed increasing the likelihood of overspray. For an application like this, we recommend running the robot at a speed of 50 millimeters per second with a 7.5 millimeter step over and at a lower compliance force. There are many ways to approach your project. Today, you saw how the ACT390, paired with Reliobotics 600 grit ceramic brushes, could be employed for weld discoloration cleanup in a process to part application. If you'd like to talk more about this material removal application, or if you have a different one that you'd like to discuss, please contact the material removal team at www.ati-ia.com/mr. We look forward to helping you start your automation journey.